Hello everyone, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's Odds and Ends. If this is your first time here, be sure and subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified of all of my new videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up as it really helps the channel out. And now, on with the video! Hi, today we're going to be doing the cookie stroll here in Epcot. Before we start, I do want to thank a few people. Tim and Jen Tracker, the Walt Disney World couple, and paging Mr. Morrow, and I'm sure many others whose videos have inspired us to try this experience for, my, for ourselves. I hope you enjoy watching the video. Here we go. All right, we've started our cookie stroll, and the first one is the peppermint striped cookie. Uh, we'll see what I think about that. I'm not a big fan of peppermint, so it depends on how strong it is. Alrighty, I just finished my first cookie, the peppermint swirl. And since it's the first one we had, I have to say it's my favorite. Uh, but I'm sure as the day goes on, it may go farther down the list. Uh, it was really pretty good. Uh, it tasted a lot like a shortbread cookie with a little hint of peppermint. Uh, it definitely needed uh, maybe a glass of milk or something to go with it I think would be good. So uh, we'll get see what Lori thinks and then we'll move on to our next cookie. So we just had the peppermint swirl cookie. Uh, in my opinion, it kind of tastes like a shortbread cookie um, with just the right amount of peppermint. There's little peppermint candy crunches on the top here, which I thought was a really nice touch. I love peppermint, so that was really great for me. I think that it, a peppermint mocha, hot peppermint mocha with this would have been just perfect. Um, otherwise, you do need something. It, it's a little dry, but it's delicious otherwise. I don't know if I'd spend two fifty dollars on it again, um, unless I could do it with the dining plan. Okay. So, then I might do it. But yeah, I'd give it a thumbs up. Alright, here's cookie number two, a gingerbread man. I'm sure I'm going to like this one better than the first one. <laughs> but the real problem is where to start, head, arms, or feet? Alright, I guess... Uh, We'll paraphrase the Queen of Hearts and go with off with his head. Oh, that is really good. Nice gingerbread taste, not too strong. Uh, flavor's great. I would just eat these all day long. Let's see what Lori thinks. This is really good. I think these were fresh out of the oven. Very rich, very, very gingerbready. Definitely would get another one. Give it a thumbs up. Also at the Lakayam booth, we got the third cookie of our cookie stroll. This is called the black and white. Looks like a sugar cookie with uh, white chocolate and dark chocolate on it. So we'll give that a try and let you know where it ranks on the list. All right, had a couple of bites uh, and it's really surprising. Uh, I was expecting the cookie to be hard. It's not. It's very, very soft. Uh, the chocolate is very, very sweet. So you really kind of have to have a sweet tooth. But I'm going to put it uh, probably behind the gingerbread, but ahead of the peppermint for me. I did not like it. <laughs> um, it's at the bottom of my list. The peppermint is the top and gingerbread is in the middle for me so far. So yeah, I would not, I wouldn't even buy this. Nope. I'd buy. All right, moving on, we got another cookie. This is the uh, chocolate crinkle cookie in the American Pavilion. This is, I believe, number four on the list. So we'll see how this one is. All right, we just finished cookie number four. And uh, that was kind of a tough one. I wasn't sure where to place it in the rankings. Uh, it's good flavor, uh, consistency almost of eating a brownie. Uh, just had powdered sugar instead of icing and it was like a brownie. A uh, good dark chocolate taste. Uh, I would probably get it again. In the ranking so far, I think we're gonna leave gingerbread at number one. And it was really a toss up between this one and, and the uh, black and white. I think I'm gonna leave black and white at number two. We'll make the crinkle cookie number three, and bottom of the list for me has got to be the peppermint one, because I just, I'm not a, that big of a fan of peppermint. So, we'll see you with the next cookie. 
I did like this cookie. I love dark chocolate. I prefer dark over milk. Um, it, was, it was brownie consistency and powdered sugar on top, which was perfect. Um, it was very thick, but very um, moist, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, um, I would buy this one again. This one I put, uh, between this one and the gingerbread cookie are my number two and number three spot. I couldn't really decide. I kind of like them equally. But if I was going to buy one again, it would probably be this chocolate one, crinkle one. And so I'm looking at peppermint, chocolate crinkle, gingerbread, and boo hiss black and white. <laughs> That's what I got to say. All right, we're ready for cookie number five. The last one before we get our finisher cookie. This is the one that we've been looking forward to because everyone raves about it. This is the Windsor cookie. So we're going to dig in and we'll let you know. Wow, that is really, really good. Uh, much better than I anticipated. And this part of it just fell off into the table. Uh, I don't think it's going to beat out the gingerbread for me, but definitely a solid number two. Thumbs up and would get that one again probably multiple times. So this is very delicious. Um, it's right there with the peppermint. Probably a little bit better than the peppermint, but it's a different kind of cookie. I'm not real sure what the cookie part is, but the jam and the powdered sugar on top, fabulous. I would definitely get this again. All right, we have finally finished our cookie stroll and uh, we're getting ready to try our finisher cookie and it's currently being unwrapped and then I'll get a picture of it. She just smelled it and says it smells really good. Uh, thank you to our hand model, Lori's Bits and Pieces. This is the finisher cookie. Uh, I'm not sure what to call it. It looks like a mini mouth with swirly doobies and uh, <laughs> we'll just see how it tastes. And I've had so many cookies, I'm getting silly from the sugar rush. <laughs> All right, we've uh, just been eating our finisher cookie. Uh, kind of a shortbread cookie uh, did kind of have a, a hint of mint in the icing which uh, probably will bring it down a little in my estimation since I don't like mint that much uh, see if I can remember everything we had in my sugar induced fog um, I would say number one for me obviously has to be the gingerbread man the gingerbread was right on point very flavorful a lot of ginger flavoring just an outstanding cookie. Uh, second, I'm probably gonna have to go with the Linzer cookie. That was a surprise of the bunch. Uh, the raspberry jam in the, in the center was, was really good. Number three was the toss up between the uh, black, white, black and white one and the uh, crinkle cookie from America. I'd put those just about even maybe the black and white edging out a little bit for me uh the bottom two are going to have to be the finisher cookie and the peppermint swirl so that's it for me we're turning over to the better half and we'll see what okay so i guess we probably have a cavalcade coming through or something that got really loud here but i'm been told that i'm wrong and weird so but the finishing cookie is my number one i i just love that the frosting was perfect, not too sweet. The shortbread was uh, not hard, but not super soft. It was perfect. And the hint of mint just did it for me because I love minty things. Um, let's see, and then the Linzer cookie was number two for me. And then I think the peppermint was number three. The, um, the, the, the uh, crinkle cookie was number four. And the black and white was just yucky. Oh, that shows up at you, though. It was good. <laughs> anyway, this was a lot of fun. I did get the cookie scroll cookie jar, which I'll have Bill do a little video of later after we get back in our room. And um, so that was a lot of fun. We've never done that sort of that before. It was delicious, and I'd do it again. All right, we are back home now, and I did want to include this in the cookie stroll video. Even though this wasn't part of the cookie stroll, it was available for purchase. It was uh, a little cookie jar. It says holiday cookie stroll on it. As you can see, there's Chip and Dale. And it looks like they're helping out Santa Claus. Really cool cookie jar.
This has been an odd production. Thanks for watching.